What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sully Pones and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 3D Land. In the previous episode, we completed the rest of World 2, so today we are going to be starting on World... Wait a second. We did not complete World 2, we still have two levels left to do in World 2. I'm not really sure why I thought we completed World 2, but we have two levels to do in World 2, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So before we actually begin, please do me a huge favor and leave a like on this video, because guys, if we can reach over 1,000 likes before the end of the day on this video, I will post the next episode of this game tonight. So if you want to see the first half of World 3 tonight, then leave a like. Anyways, uh, Perlis Platform Panic is the name of this level. That sounds very... Ominous and spooky. Sounds like it's gonna be a difficult level. These are like the platforms from 3D Land and 3D World, so it's nice to see that they're that they are using some of the uh, 3D Land and 3D World uh, elements. Dude, you know what the dandelion suit is? I will tell you guys exactly what the dandelion suit is. It is literally a uh, a tanuki leaf. That is literally what the dandelion suit is. A tanuki leaf and a not a cat suit. A uh, a. Uh, what are they called? There's a Tanuki Leaf and there's also another thing, the the big bearer suit that you have in 3D land. That's what it is. Except it just looks different. Cause look, every time I glide, that's technically Mario uh, you know, hovering down slowly with that Tanuki. Jesus, this is this is crazy, man. They put Ooh. Okay. I made it out of that one alive. But we got and we also got the first screen star. And we got the second one. Not bad. This is nice, dude. I'm on a freaking roll today. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, all right. All right, let's, let's, oh, jeez. I knew that was going to be there. They had it on the other ones. Oh, my God, dude. If I lose my dandelion suit here, I'm, like, screwed. All right, we made it. We made it, and I still haven't found the second green star, which is not good. I'm going to stay away from you guys because they got hammers. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, Ooh, there it is. I see you. I see you. Boom, shakalaka. I got it. All right. Oh, you know, I get it now. I was supposed to go up there and... Oh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I got this. No! I, no, no, no. I almost had it. I almost freaking had that. Okay, so now I, I know what to do now. Uh, instead of trying to jump on the platforms, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on the, uh, that, the, the box that is... Uh, in the middle of those two fire rods. I have no idea what they're called, but watch this. There we go. See how awesome that is? How easy that is, too? Just getting that green star. Okay, now I gotta be careful. See? This is, this is what I'm talking about right here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump up here. Boom! See? How easy was that? That was really easy, right? Alright, we're gonna do it again. On this one. Ooh! Nice and clean. Got that green star, and now we just gotta get our way across. Okay, and we did it. We did it. We only died once too. Now we just gotta make it to the end. Oh my God, Hammer Bros. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Hey, and we made it to the end. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that was it for the uh, the third level in World Two. I was going to say the first level in World 3. I don't know why I keep thinking we're on World 3. We're not on World 3. We're on World 2. Anyways, moving on to the final level of World 2. Uh, I wonder what it is. Loco Pocos Track Attack. All right, let's do this. If there was an award for being the dumbest person on this planet, that would definitely go to me. So this entire time that I've been playing this game, I literally had no idea by holding down one of the keys, I could actually sprint with Mario. I cannot believe it, which explains a lot considering I had a lot of problems, especially on that blue level uh, where I under jumped a lot and I was like, there's no way like they made it this hard. Turns out you can actually sprint if you hold down B and Mario actually goes fast. So I could have probably cleared out levels way quicker and I could have perfected jumps uh, a lot sooner as opposed to trying to do them the getaway. See, look at that. Look at that. The power of jumping while you're running. That is crazy. <sighs> and the reason why I found that out is because when I was playing through this, and I, I couldn't get past one part. And you guys will see in just a sec. There's literally a part that you can't do it because I always un I always thought I was under jumping. And I it was really infuriating. And then it turns out that, you know, I was playing this game wrong this entire time. 
Okay, I'll show you guys what it is exactly. But yeah, this is this is a pretty easy level. I actually didn't die at all. I played it twice and or actually like more than twice. This part though, I played it twice. This is my third time playing through it. But boom, shakalaka. See, that is the part I kept dying on because I never held down the B button or whatever button I'm using, and I I wasn't able to uh to jump across that far. So. Ah, uh, I can't believe I'm just learning this. That is crazy to me. But yeah, uh, we made it. This is the boss door, and uh, I'm not really sure what this boss is going to be, but I'm, I'm pretty excited for him. Ooh, that is an armored uh, pokey. Okay, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to kill this dude? Okay, there we go. I guess it takes a second for them to activate. And now I just gotta hit the other power block, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Dude, uh-oh. Is that middle thing? Oh no, never mind. What am I saying? Ah, come on, dude. Okay, and I'm assuming I gotta hit the one with the. Yep, that is definitely it. Cause there's a big X on him, so I mean, oh jeez, I keep forgetting that I can sprint. So this is this is gonna take some time to get used to. So now he's throwing some spike balls down. Ah, oh, Jesus. At least it's not doing too much damage. Hey, we're, we're, we did it again. There we go. So this guy has a set amount of hit points, not really sure how much, but looks like we're doing pretty good. He got a lot smaller too. Bro, just let me, let me get in there. Oh, close, 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 Mr. Pokey. Mr. Pokey, there we go. And, ah, there we go, there we go. Wait, what? He still, he still hasn't died, man. And I only got two hit points left. I'm not gonna read it with this if I die. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, there we go. Where did, he, where did he go? I can't get in there! I cannot get in there. And plus, they give you like one second to do it. If I die, I'm going to be pretty upset with myself. Okay, there we go. Two. And yes, 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 yes. There we go. And where is it? There it is. No! There we go! He had one last hit, too. It was like two hit points left. That, was, that wasn't that bad. It was actually... It was really nice. It was a little confusing at first, but... I figured it out in the end, and that's all that counts. So, that is it, guys, for this episode. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember, leave a like. If you want to see the next episode of this game tonight, leave a like. We're going to be going into the Icy Ice Line. That's, that sounds pretty exciting, man. Don't even deny it. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.